target now. Then style and pattern don't change you. Hmm. This time, they are planning to bomb church, mosque, school, motor park, market, entertainment center, and public place them. So therefore, make you shine your eye and not take security matter play. -o. Make you report any crooked person, object or worker jube movement to police and security agent demo. The security of our nation now work for all of us, so, plus including me and you. Nigeria, make we unite against terrorism. Now, Federal Minister of Information and Culture, bring on this message. Happy weekend. Here is the news from NTA Lagos Channel 10. I'm Victoria Olabode. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo has urged residents of Lagos State to vote massively for candidates of the All Progressive Congress APC at the forthcoming general elections in order for them to continue to enjoy the dividends of democracy. The Vice President made the call during a door to door campaign of the party in Alimosho Federal Constituency. Nusa Osula reports. The campaign, which was led by Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju to canvass for votes, was attended by other party bigwigs, including immediate past governor of Oshun State, Ogbeni Rauf Aregbeshola, Lagos State Governor Akiumi Ambodi, APC governorship candidate in Lagos, Babajide Sonwolu, Senator representing Lagos West, Solomon Adiola Olamileko, Special Advisor to the President on Political Affairs, Baba Femi Ujudu, amongst other top politicians of the party. The Vice President urged people of Alimosho to come out en masse and make use of their population strength to vote for APC come February 16th and March 2nd, 2019. The door-to-door -door has been particularly informative. You know, one of the reasons why we do the door-to-door -door is because we want to ensure that we interact with the real people, with, you know, people in their homes, you know, people at their work, you know, and businesses. And we found that that's been tremendously useful, not just in getting their feedback, but in also reinforcing our message, you know, which is that we're moving to the next level and that um, things can only get better and that there is really and that we are the real choice that has to be made. Professor Shimbaju also reaffirmed the need for the people to support the APC to consolidate on the gains so far recorded. We are very, very greatly encouraged by the support we're getting and you saw it yourself. You were there with us, you saw the enthusiasm, you saw the way that people responded. So I think that clearly, you know, we are all set uh, for victory. By God's grace, it will be a resounding victory for the APC in all of the elections here in Lagos. Lagos State Governor Akilmi Ambodi said the house-to-house -house campaign was embarked upon to properly send the message of hope and consolidation to the nooks and crannies of the state. Areas visited by the team are Igondo, Ikotsu, Ijegun, Egbeda, Ipaja, Ajasa Command, and Ileipo in Lagos, Nosa, Osula, NTA News. The Lagos East Senatorial candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Princess Abiodun Yefusi, has commenced a door to door campaign in the Lagos East Senatorial District with a pledge to bring the dividends of democracy to all the residents in the district if given the mandate. Details in this report. The PDP senatorial candidate said she is contesting the seat to bring development to the Lagos East, contribute her quota to nation building, and create opportunities for women. The purpose of the House to House campaign is to get the people in the district to be familiar with the candidates, to speak to them about their needs, their issues, and what they expect from us as a party when we get into power, and what is affecting the district the most. 
and uh, that is the key thing. So they're not just seeing posters, they're not just seeing banners, but they actually interact with the candidate. And it's very key that we introduce this into our political system. Having been doing the Astro Act, Act campaign, I see their needs and what is actually pressing. Oyesu C urged the people of Lagos East to vote for the PDP, assuring that the party would not disappoint them in 2019 while pledging to implement the 30,000 minimum wage if elected. When we come to restructure economically, we have to be able to restructure to bring wages in line with the um, earnings of the legislature, of the federal system. Everybody, everything must be proportional. And the minimum wage, we need to go from, 60, from 18 as it is now to a very, something that is reasonable and compare with the standard of living. And 30,000 is reasonable. The PDP candidate is the daughter to the late King of Ikorodu, His Royal Majesty Oba Salawuddin Oyefusi. She emerged as the party flag bearer in her second attempt to represent the Lagos East Senatorial District at the upper chamber. In Lagos, Nosa Osula, NTA News. Still an election campaign as the 2019 general elections fast approach, political parties, candidates and the electorates have been called upon to embrace the spirit of partnership during and after elections. Stakeholders who gave this charge in Lagos said the interests of the nation should be more paramount than that of an, any individual for the peace and progress of the country. The South Sula again reports. Governance is characterized with the emergence of political candidates from political parties who participate in periodic elections. Those who emerge victorious from the contest are saddled with the statutory roles of ensuring that the dividends of democracy is enjoyed and felt by every citizen. However, elections across the world often face several challenges, some of which are electoral violence, malpractice, vote buying, amongst others. In addressing some of these challenges and ensuring a peaceful, free and fair general elections, stakeholders are of the opinion that political parties, candidates and electorates be given equal opportunities to participate on a level playing ground during the forthcoming elections. It's in the Quran, it's in the Bible. So if you're a Muslim, it's there. If you're a Christian, God gives power to man to use the power for his own glory, to exalt him. God gives power to man to bless other men in creation. But when you get to a position of power, you forget the people, the creature of God, you will be judged. Generational judgment. Where are the children of all the names we had in the 50s and the 60s? That's why the Bible says, if you don't do my will, you will perish. You see, my, my challenge with um, many politicians is that only few of them wanted to go there to serve. Many of them are not ready to serve. They are ready to take whatever they want to take and get out. But if people have a mind to serve, you have a mind of God, no matter your religion, and you are there to serve the people, the people will be your concern, not you. So my advice is that people, the electorate should look at the antecedent of the people they want to vote for. Like I various candidates contesting for various political offices also promise to ensure good governance for all if elected. The manifesto is for Lagos State, it's not, it's not just for PFN alone. And um, it covers pretty much everybody, irregardless of religion, irregardless of ethnicity, and irregardless of uh, place of origin uh, within Nigeria. As long as you're a Lagosian, the manifesto covers you. Basically, what we want to do is empower every Lagosian to become more prosperous. Prosperity shall be assured in our administration and we're going to be rebuilding the economy of Lagos on five pillars. Tourism, technology, industry, entertainment, and agriculture. One key thing is uh, the resources of this state. We are so determined to take it from, you know, from an individual and you know, to give it to the people of Lagos State. And of course, up to number two of the manifesto is to address the 
uh, issue of miscreancy, you know, youth violence across Lagos State, you know, which is uh, consuming a lot of uh, residents of this state. When I emerge as the governor of Lagos State, a lot is going to be done in that area. First of all, I'm going to be looking at the poverty. The poverty. I'm going to be looking at um, the health care. I'm going to be looking at security. If you don't take care of your people, then you don't have a state because the people make the state. There's a lot of poverty in Lagos State. People have lost their job. There's so many unemployment. Youths are not employed. We're going there to work. We're going there to serve. This is not a matter of me or the government. It is about the people. Stakeholders further noted that continuous sensitization programs, seminars and trainings for both the electorate and the candidates will go a long way in achieving free, fair and credible elections as well as good governance for all. In Lagos, Nusa, Osula, NCA News. The special advisor to President Muhammad Dubori on job creation, Afolabi Imokwede, and the Lagos State's government a called on NPAR beneficiaries in Lagos State to vote for President Mohamed Dubari at the forthcoming general elections in order to ensure continuity of the program. Nusa Osula reports that they made the call at an NPAR sensitization program at the Cheflin Balogo Stadium, Surulere. The NPAR program was established by the federal government with the aim of fostering productivity through skill development and valuable knowledge sharing and acquisition for economic growth and social development. The special advisor appreciated the consistent dedication of NPAR beneficiaries to the growth of the nation. He assured the youths of continuous support of the federal government, saying their engagement had promoted a better economy and robust human capital development. Uh, that we've been able to design, design a program that is transparent, a program that nobody needed to know anybody. You heard them themselves. They didn't know any, uh, anybody. They didn't know any LG chairman, any senator, any governor. And they came into the program. They've remained in the program. They are delivering their value to their community. They are earning. Uh, they are working while they earn. And each one gets their money directly in their account without any third party, without, any, uh, without having to pay, uh, you know, pay co uh, commission to anybody. The state commissioner for wealth creation and employment, Uzamot Akimbile Yusuf, said that Empire program has tremendously impacted the lives of the volunteers in the state. She also commended the federal government under the leadership of President Mohamedou Buhari for proper implementation of the program in the state. The leadership of the government led by the president, Mamadou Buhari, is interested in the masses and to ensure that all our youth are get employed and they get some skills. And with that, the next level, what we are looking at, coming 2019 uh, general election, I believe we will return President Mamadou Buhari back to power. The issue of NSIP is going to be a continual one by the special grace of God. Some of the beneficiaries comments. It has been helpful. Um, 2015, I finished my youth service and there was nothing. So the program came up. I applied. I was opportuned. I was able to meet people, talk to them about um, food, dieting, and all of that. It added more value to me, and it had helped me well. It's not, it's not only the stipend, the knowledge, and the experience. I've is one of the things that have gone a long way in my life. And also there is also a device that you can even key in to look at the techniques and methods, how to develop, how to do about, go about the enterprise that you want to invent. Apply for this program. This was the program that I was, that was free and fair. I applied online and I was taken. If I want to thank the administration of Buhari, he has really tried for us. Now as a teacher, I have organized a lesson, a small lesson in my community, where I see people in the afternoon and pray. They pay a very small price. I am very grateful for this administration. Over 15,000 residents have benefited from the scheme in Lagos. In Lagos, Nosa, Osula, NTA News. You are still watching NTA Lagos, Channel 10 News. More news after this break. Please stay with us. Hate speech is not a joke. It incites genocide and crimes against humanity. 
Most of Africa's civil wars are caused by hate speech from one tribe against another. We don't want it here. The Nigerian government stands firm against hate speech. I was distressed to notice that some of the comments, especially in the social media, have crossed our national red lines by daring to question our collective existence as a nation. This is a step too far. One nation bound in freedom. Peace and you. Nigeria, one nation, one people. This is a public service announcement brought to you by NTA. Welcome back. One traffic sign that is taken for granted is zebra crossing. Many motorists disobey this sign freely with impunity. Correspondents in this report takes a look at how motorists and pedestrians understand the crucial road sign. Automobiles have become part and parcel of everyday life as they make life easier for commuters. Just as automobiles are considered very important because of the roles they play, they are as well considered risk factors because of the damages they cause when misused. According to a report reflecting information from 180 countries by the World Health Organization in 2015, road traffic deaths have risen to 1.25 million per year. This can be attributed to impatience, carelessness and ignorance of road signs among others. Among many road signs is the zebra crossing, which is a type of pedestrian crossing that is marked on the road with painted black and white stripes that give pedestrians permanent right of way. What do Nigerians know about zebra crossing? No, it's only good for, it's meant for, uh, what do you call, the, the, the uh, vehicles both pass, uh, go, uh, going this way and the other, this other way not to know the dreadful place to, to be. Zebra is a, is, a, is a danger for driving. So no, motor cannot be on top of that because it's an um, offense. It is a sign that uh, anybody coming towards the place should know that uh, there is need for, 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 the, for the driver to limit the rate of his or her speed. A place that shows white lines, in between white and black lines, where pedestrians can cross. Where pedestrians should cross, when they went down the um, express road. And so the pedestrian has right of way. Vehicles are expect driver is expected to stop so a pedestrian can cross. And then pedestrians that do not use the zebra crossing are themselves violating um, traffic law, I think. In developed countries, motorists always stop for pedestrians to use the zebra crossing because there are serious penalties for defaulters. But reverse is mostly the case in Nigeria as pedestrians are seen running on zebra crossing instead of walking on it because of fear of being hit by oncoming vehicles that may not stop for them. But if you go to driving school, they will teach you all those things. They need to be oriented, especially by the Federal Road Safety Corp. It, as oppressed in other countries, developed countries, we should imitate them now. It's, 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 it's out of discipline. Government made that easy for us so that we don't get injured. Many people don't understand what it is for. Number one. Number two, the drivers themselves, especially the drivers. Even the players are know the use of it. If you just go there, want some driver will just come and hit you. And so you won't come and say, I know what I'm doing. If you ever hit you, you land in the hospital. Sector Commander Federal Road Safety Corps, Hygienus Omeje, speak on the Commission's effort to enlighten road users on the importance of the zebra crossing. The rule of zebra crossing is that um, if a pedestrian wants to cross, the moment he steps on the first line, he has a right of way. Motorists are expected to stop behind the stop line of that zebra crossing so that the man can cross the road. Even when the, uh, some motorists who have um, uh, knowledge of what this rule says stops, you could just be in for trouble where uh, a KK or 
and Okada operator will just overtake area from the right or from the left. And the same man you stopped for, he will, will go and clear him. So what we always advocate is that each time you cite a pedestrian wanting to use the zebra crossing, as soon as you make up your mind to stop for the pedestrian, please complement that you're stopping with hand signal so that the Okada coming or the KK or whosoever, the damn food driver that may even want to overtake you, not knowing why you stop, we see that your hand signal and know that somebody wants to cross and that is why you are stopping. So he therefore warned motorists to always respect pedestrian rights as the commission will not spare anyone found wanting. In Lagos, Hingino John Adams, NTA News. Away from that story to a time of celebration for the families of Dacosta and Ido as their children, Adidotu and Joseph, were joined together in holy matrimony. The solemnization of holy matrimony took place at the Cathedral Church of Christ Marina Lagos. Isa Awesu reports. That was the exchange of marital vows and rings between Adidotun and Joseph. The officiating minister, Most Reverend Nicholas Oko, in his sermon advised the couple to build their home in a way that pleases Christ and make Jesus the center of their relationship. He also charged them to avoid third party interference in their marital life. With the exchange of marital vows, the couple signed the dotted lines and presentation of marriage certificate was done. The couple later danced to admiration of friends and family into the reception where they performed their first marital assignment. The newly wedded couple could not hide their joy. They expressed how their long-awaited dreams came to reality. I heard it's a once in a lifetime thing and I'm um, into it once in a lifetime because I know that I won't do this again because I'm going to love her forever. Excited, happy, ready to start. And I can't wait for everything it brings. I wish myself fruitfulness, productivity, patience, love, joy, favor, and forever with my husband. Parents, family members, and well-wishers admonished the couple to build their home with love, trust, and have a mutual understanding when making decisions. It's a rare privilege for we parents to be able to nurture the children to the point of getting married. So I feel fulfilled. Thank you, God, this is the first many will follow of God. I feel so happy for my little boy to be joined to a woman today. I'm, I feel so happy and I'm grateful to God. They have to love one another, they have to tolerate one another, they have to understand one another and they must have the fear of the Lord. If there is any problem in the marriage, they have to take it to the Lord. There is no perfect marriage on earth. Well, I want to advise them Thank God the two of them are children of God and they serve the Lord. They should continue serving God and they should continue to love each other. And I pray that Almighty Jehovah will bless their marriage and he will join it with them. Highlight of the event was the cutting of cake and couples dance. In Lagos, Isa Awesu, NTA News. On that happy note, we end, we end the news. Thank you for watching and choosing NTA Lagos Channel 10. I'm Victoria Olabode. With me has been Ola Olua Bayonli for the sign language. Have a restful weekend.